Hey guys, it's Adam. Welcome to the Splendid Sports Cards 500 Home Run Club Showcase. So one of my favorite YouTube channels, Elite Hunters, uh, James, he did a recent video where he showcased some really cool cards and memorabilia from players of the 500 Home Run Club. And so this video is going to be along those lines. I'm gonna put a link to James's video in the description because it is a must watch. So what I put together here, I got 19 cards and obviously they're all uh, cards of players in the 500 Home Run Club. But I tried to pick cards that um, you know I really like, might be cards that you don't see all the time. Uh, and even the few cards in here that you probably do see pretty often, they're in grades here that maybe you don't. So here we go, let's get it going. First card. We're working our way from newest card back to the oldest card. So what you have here, something you don't see every day, is a BGS Beckett Black Label. Uh, and this is a 2006 Topps Home Run History Mickey Mantle card. So you probably know, but uh, Topps made, uh, uh, back in 06, 07, 08, I believe, they made a run of um, Home Run History cards where they made a card in Topps and Topps Chrome, I think, uh, where they made a card of uh, commemorating every one of Mickey Mantle's home runs. So for me, what's special about this is it's, car it's home run number one. And on the back, cool cards, they, they give you the date. So May 1st, 1951 at Comiskey Park. He hit a 450-foot two-run homer off Randy Gumpert as his uh, first home run to center field. So this combination of a cool card in a grade that is pretty tough with the BGS black label. Whether you let, uh, like Beckett grading or not, um, I haven't found too many people that don't think the black label's cool. I mean, it's just great, great looking graded card. Tough to get these. All right, next card. 2003 SP Authentic Splendid Swatches. We got game worn pants from Ted Williams and Mickey Mantle, two of the 500 home run club members on one card. Card is numbered to 406. And this is a BGS Gem Mint 9.5. So again, game used, game used stuff. I'll take all day long if I can find it of either of these guys, but when you can get them both on the same card, I'm all in. All right, next card. This is the only David Ortiz card I have. 1998 Top Stars, Silver in a SGC 8.5. Nothing really special about this card other than the fact that it's my only Big Poppy card. So there we are. Love the 93 and 94 Finest sets. Great design, look at that. This is a 1994 Finest, Manny Ramirez, best right-handed hitter I ever watched in my lifetime. Superstar sampler and a PSA 10. I think this is a pop one. Uh, it might have changed, but when I bought this, I think it was last year, um, it was, I believe, a pop one at the time. So really one of my uh, favorite Manny Ramirez cards here. This card I've had since I was a kid. It's a 1991 Playball USA Ken Griffey Jr. National Promo, card number 91-50 in a Gem Mint 10. These cards are tough to find in, in Gem Mint 10s. I love this design with the white background and not a card you see all the time from Griffey. But again, a special card for me because I've had it so long and um, was very surprised that a card I had for 30 years just sitting in a binder was able to get the PSA 10. All right, we got another Griffey card from a set that was an uh, iconic set for me when I was a kid and still is, 1990 Leaf. Not a rookie card, but just this set, you know, with the Frank Thomas, I love the Bo Jackson, Ken Griffey Jr. here, this is an SGC 10. Just one of my favorite Griffey cards, one of my favorite sets. All right, we got 91 Donruss Diamond Kings. Love the Perez Steel cards, love the Diamond Kings. Not a huge Barry Bonds fan, but I can appreciate just how good the guy was, how great he was, regardless of any of the PED stuff. Unbelievable, all time great. And uh, just love this card. And a PSA 10, great looking card. And 
Reggie Jackson, 1989, Pacific Legends. If you've ever caught that video I did a couple months back, I think it was, uh, where I go through how the 88 and 89 Pacific Legends set are just special to me. I won't go through the full thing here, but this is a card that uh, was on the box of the 89 Pacific Legends. This is the featured card. And um, I don't think, I, I never was able to pull this card as a kid. I used to open a bunch of these packs and I always wanted this Reggie Jackson. Just love the, love the photo in it. Um, I think those are just awesome uniforms. And uh, was, was able to buy a box of this off eBay a couple years ago. And I did open this one from a pack a couple years ago and um, sent it an SGC, got a nice 9.5 grade. These are tough. There's a ton of these cards out there, but these are tough grades. There's a reason why you don't see a ton of these graded. It's because they don't grade well at all. So if you can, if you can find these in, you know, nine or above, anything mint condition or above, it's, it's a really tough, tough card to find. Not that there's a ton of people that collect these like me, but they are tough. They don't grade well because of the silver borders and they're not, you know, they have a lot of dents in them and they're just very sensitive cards. All right, this one here, love these. 1986 Big League Chew, Ted Williams. Try to find a lot of, if you try to find these Big League Chew cars in PSA 10, you'll be looking for a while. These don't come around very often. Again, another, another set that there's a lot of them out there. You look on eBay, you can find, no problem finding raw copies, but um, to find a PSA 10 or any gem mint grade for this type of card, it's tough. So happy to have this Ted Williams home run legends, very appropriate card for this video. Uh, love these big league chew cards. Still looking for the mantle in gem mint. Haven't been able to find that. Uh, and then we got Babe Ruth. Look at these 19, 1978 sports deck division, King of clubs. The King uh, was at one time the home run King uh, in a, in a PSA 10. These are just great looking cards. And then another Ruth. I don't have any playing days Babe Ruth cards. Um, so I picked a couple of the, the pretty cool um, post playing days. 76 tops, tough, tough cards to find in mint condition. And this is a PSA 9. So uh, this is actually a, a little set that I'm trying to put together. I have most of these. I'm trying to find them all in um, PSA 9s. So I have, this is one that I do have. Uh, when I am able to hopefully at some point complete that run, I'll do a video on that, but this is a great looking uh, Babe Ruth card from the 76 top set. All right, getting down there, 74 tops, home run king. Always wanted this card because of the turn back the clock card that featured this card on it when I was a kid. Um, you know, I always loved those. I still do the turn back the clock cards. I'm gonna do a special video on those at some point. But this card was the, the card that was featured on the, the Hank Aaron Turn Back the Clock card. So like I do a lot of the, the things, um, the cards that I wanted as a kid, going back, trying to find nice uh, copies of them. This is a nice PSA 7 um, of the Home Run King at the time. Some consider him still to be. All right. And then uh, Willie Mays, 1968 Tops game. Willie Mays, PSA 7. Home Run card, very fitting for this video. Another another really cool set, 1968 Tops game. And this one might be the most fitting card. We got three members of the home run, 500 home run club superstars all together on one card. Harmon Killebrew, Willie Mays, Mickey Mantle in a PSA 8. This is um, just a, one of my favorite cards. Three of, the, three of the members right there. All right, and then uh, we got 1965 Opeachy, Opeachy version, Mantle's clutch home run um, in a PSA 8. So really nice card there. Love the action shot of the Mick in the last World Series that he ever won. All right. We got two of the members, Hank Aaron and Willie Mays on one card, 1964 Tops, Tops in NL in a PSA 6. Beautiful card. And then we got 61 tops. Mantle Blast 565 foot home run. 
Obviously another very fitting card in a PSA 7. Oh, and then we got two left. You don't see a gem mint card from 1959 too often. Uh, this is a 1959 Fleer. Ted Williams, 1941 All-Star Hero and a PSA 10. Uh, I thought this was a very fitting card. Obviously, he's one of the members, but more than that, uh, Ted Williams actually said that hitting this home run to win the 41 All-Star game was, if not the biggest hit or home run of his, of his career, uh, right up there. So this was one of his favorite moments in his whole career when um, he hit this home run. So this is a great set, the 59 Fleer set. Many cool cards in here. Um, but, you know, I was able to pick pick up a gem mint copy. Uh, it wasn't cheap, but for a Ted Williams 1959 card in PSA 10, uh, it, it um, for me, it was not as expensive as uh, I would have thought it would have been. So that's why I kind of went for it on this one. And we have one left. Two on one. 58 tops, series batting foes, Mantle and Aaron, a PSA 7. And check out that label, beginning with a zero. Talk about old school. I wish you could look up, in uh, like you, you can do it on the Beckett website, but on the PSA website, I wish they told you what when they graded the card. Uh, I would just love to see the date as to when this card was graded. Um, but beautiful card, one of my favorite cards. You get two, two of those members of the 500 Home Run Club on that one card here. And that's going to do it. James, thanks for for uh, inspiring this video and thank you guys for watching.